My name is Dr. Ali Fennec, and I'm a professor of organizational psychology and an expert in human behavior. I want to talk to you today about the importance of humanizing AI and the role that I believe behavioral science plays in this process. As our relationship with the digital space will only intensify moving into the future, it's time to consider the human component in the AI equation. Behavioral science is core to artificial intelligence. Specifically, cognitive science forms the foundation of intelligent agents which are able to learn, recognize, predict, and solve problems by progressively mimicking cognitive processes of the human brain. At the same time, behavioral science is important to better understand how our interaction with screens and digital platforms impact human thinking and behavior. The evolution of algorithms and the increased human-to-computer interaction will undoubtedly bring humans and machines much closer. But the major question is how? Are we heading towards an artificial humanity, or are we working towards a symbiotic relationship between humans and machines, where the utility of machines helps humans to become more human? Machine learning, which is a subset of artificial intelligence, allows machines to learn from data without being programmed explicitly. The machine learning algorithms use various deterministic and problemistic models to recognize patterns, learn and make predictions about the world it's investigating. The ultimate goal of these algorithms is to find an optimum outcome in terms of prediction based on the data provided. If machine learning is to mimic human thinking, then the best representation it has of a human being as of today would be someone like Mr. Spock from Star Trek a man who is completely rational, led by logic and not by emotions, and who always seeks the best possible answer based on the information available to him. Similarly, the first considerations of human decision-making built into machines is the logic theorist by Newell and Simon, which represents information processing as a logical process. Critics of this representation of human thinking were Kahneman and Tversky, who argued that human decision-making doesn't always happen in a logical and predetermined manner. A better representation of human behavior is that of Homer Simpson, a man who is limited in capacity, swayed by emotions, and someone who uses mental shortcuts to achieve often suboptimal outcomes. Being human means being irrational, and according to Duke University professor of psychology Dan Ariely, we are even predictably irrational. Besides human irrationality, machine learning has a hard time using data to make predictions about the real world. The reason for this is that context matters. Data without context has no meaning, which is a major drawback of artificial intelligence today, especially in its application to real world and dynamic situations. Artificial intelligence uses machine learning and a subset of machine learning called deep learning to model human thinking and behavior. Whereas the decision science has used different approaches to model human behavior, such as prospect and decision field theory, which reflect decision making under uncertainty or illustrate how contexts such as choice sets deter rational decision making. My goal is to help AI become more human by combining AI-based human modeling together with behavioral theories to deliberately build mental shortcuts into the way algorithms predict choice and behavior. This approach accounts for context and mental errors in a highly problemistic way, while at the same time provides transparency and replicability in its execution. To bring this to life, I'd like to ask you which of the two programs you would choose based on the choice presented in the slides. Most likely you would say small, as 70% of the people do in this case. However, if I alter the choice set to three options, it's more likely that you would choose the large option. This simple experiment shows how choice sets impact decision making and not always in a rational manner. Using artificial neural networks, we can build latent factors into prediction models which reflect the choices people make in specific situations or under uncertainty using insights from behavioral science. We can implement these shortcuts into the design of human-centric AI, which leads to faster and more accurate predictions in line with human cognition. Behavioral science also is foundational to how mobile apps and digital platforms are designed. Using behavioral theories and principles in both the design of algorithms and user experience of digital platforms will contribute significantly to technology uptake, user satisfaction, and above all, improved human functioning if applied in a way that benefits well-being. It's clear that our lives have become inherently digital and are increasingly being impacted by screens. Our screen time and digital experiences have a huge impact on how we think, how we feel, and also how we engage with other people in the real world. The design of algorithms play a crucial role in how our digital encounters shape behavior and society at large. To date, digital design has not always been in favor of promoting human well-being. Cambridge Analytica in 2018 allegedly made use of psychographic profiling in digital campaigns to influence voting decisions, playing into human biases. The Cambridge Analytica incident made clear that one's digital trail online can be used to infer behavioral characteristics using machine learning algorithms. 
Facebook's behavioral profiling algorithms have had unintended consequences as behavioral segmenting algorithms uh, has also given rise to more divide and polarization. The more people conjugate together with similar beliefs, uh, the less likely people are to accept opposing ideas or to enter into constructive debate. And finally, social ranking systems, such as the one currently being used in China, which uses behavioral algorithms to classify citizens on the basis of their online and offline behavior, restricting access to resources and mobility if classified as a low-scoring citizen. An example of algorithmic design which has the potential to create an artificial humanity. The usage of algorithms and digital platforms almost always starts with the intent to better mankind and improve society. However, as the profit motive eventually overtakes the purpose motive, we eventually become victims of our own design, creating systems that don't help us to make better decisions for ourselves or benefit society at large. It's clear that moving into the future, we need to look at humanizing AI, not only to create machines that think more like humans, but also to consider its application in a more humane and ethical manner. Aiming for a symbiotic relationship between human and machine will most definitely catapult us into a new renaissance of what it means to be human. In conclusion, I believe that the next big revolution will not be technological, it will be more psychological. Behavioral science will play an increasingly important role in how we build, use and live with technology. My name is Dr. Ali Fennec, thanks for your attention and I look forward to continuing the discussion on this topic with you online.